let's look at the second example in time series yeah and in this example we are going to look at an we are going to look at a question whereby the number of years is even in the previous video we add odd odd years so we want to look at some other qu question whereby the number of years is even so example two the data below relates to the budget of Maisha Academy for the past eight years. Eight years is already even. So they have given us years from 2014 to 2021. Then the budget for all the years. When we count, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, and, and that is an even number. So... We said in time series, it is time that is always the independent variable, and the independent variable is always the x. So, our y is the x, I mean the year is the x, then the, the other remaining variable becomes the y, so the budget becomes our y. Required, they want us to fit the trend equation, and then b, determine the year in which the annual budget will be 96 million. So they be, they want us to determine the year. So just know this is time series. And then solution. Solution we shall first we shall first draw the table as usual. We have the column of x variables and then y variables. Y is the budget and then x are the years. So 2014 to 2021. Then budget, we copy them straight from the question. 100, 100, 80, 80, 85, 85, 100, 105, like that. So after that, we get summation y. And we add all of this to get summation y. Then we calculate 40. We need t and then y t and t squared. So in order for us to get t, since the number of years is even, we shall use this formula. T is equal to 2 in two brackets, current year minus middle year. So current year minus middle year. And here, the number of years is even, so we shall have to look for the middle year. So we count one two three then from this side one two three and the two years remaining in the middle so in order for us to get the middle year we add those two years 2017 plus 2018 divide by two and we get 2017.5 it becomes our middle year so 2017.5 is the middle year. So in order for us to get the T for every year, we get current year, 2014. For 2014, we do current year is 2014 minus the middle year, which is 2017.5. You get negative 3.5, then times 2 which is negative 7. So it becomes our t. Then for the next year, we do the same thing. 2015 minus the middle year, which is 2017.5 times 2. We get negative 5. And we do the same thing for the rest of the years. And that is our t. Then to get y t, we multiply y times t. 100 times negative 7, we get negative 700. This times this, we get this. So we do the same thing for all the figures. Then to get t squared, we, multiply, we square t. So we get negative 7 squared. Sorry, put it in brackets. Negative 7 squared, we get 49, is what we put here. 
then negative 5 squared 25 negative 3 squared 9 like that up to the end then after we shall need summation y t which is 46 then summation t squared 168 yeah. after that we shall substitute in the formula in our formula the least squares formula which is y is equal to a plus bt and the formula for calculating for b is summation yt out of summation t squared and from the table summation yt is 46 so we, we put it here 46 divided by summation t squared which is 168 so 46 divided by 168 46 sorry 46 divided by 168 0 0.273 when we round off with 0 0.274 so b is it to 0 0.274 then for a in order for us to get the value of a we use the formula summation y out of n whereby from the question from the table summation y is 744 4, and n is 8 so 744 4 divided by 8 we get that 93 then after getting the values of a and b the next thing is to substitute in the equation whereby y is equal to a is 93 plus b which is 0 0.274 then t and this is the trend equation that they asked for as part a pre to the trend equation so this answers part a then part b they wanted us to determine the year in which the annual budget will be 96 m so the annual budget we we said budget is the y the budget is the y so in this in this question they have given us y which is 96 m so our equation is y is equal to 93 plus 0 0.2740 as it was here we bring it here but they have given us y which is 96m so we substitute it here and then we are looking for t so we collect the like terms together then we we subtract here this minus this we get 3 yeah. after we divide by this to get the value of t so the time is 10.9 which is the same as 11 but they want us to determine the year not the time so determine the year in which the annual budget will be 96 m since we already have t we can get the time so from the formula for t whereby t is equal to 2 into brackets current year minus middle year we do not have the current here but we have the middle here and we have the t so t is 11 equals to 2 into brackets the current here is x what we are looking for then minus the middle here that we had gotten this one 2017.5 we put it here then after we multiply this times this then this times this so 11 is equal to 2x minus that after we collect like terms together we bring this this side by adding it then it is equal to 2x we divide by 2 divide by 2 and the current year is 2023 therefore the year in which the annual budget will be 96m is 2023 yeah and that is how we calculate for time series whereby the number of years is given.
the main thing is that we use this 